Hi there folks, welcome back to my channel. In this video I've actually come back down into the Fries and Galloway. I'm actually in the, the Galloway area of the of the Fries and Galloway. And the town that I've stopped off at is called Kukubri. I know you're probably looking at the, the title of the video and going, how the hell do you get Kukubri from how it's spelt? But it's just one of those kind of weird uh, Scottish place names. The only one that's just uh doesn't quite get pronounced the way it's spelt. But where I've actually come to visit is the Deep Space Planetarium we've got in the town because Galloway is actually one of the dark sky areas of Scotland. So they do have uh, an hour uh, observatory up towards, I think it's Loch Doon. So yeah, quite, quite an interesting little fact. And so I've never actually been into the planetarium before. I've been to Kukubri many years ago, but it was a good few years ago. And yeah, so it could be an interesting little place to go visit. They are generally open on uh, Saturday and Sunday, but they've kindly let me to go come in during the week. So I get to explore it and show you what's going on. So it could be an inter interesting little visit. Before I do head in, if you're enjoying my channel, if you're enjoying my videos, if you can click on the subscribe button, click on that notification bell, leave some likes, leave some comments, it's always really appreciated. And if you'd like to support the channel further, I will post a link to the channelscoffee.com page, the PayPal account and the TikTok account in the description bar below and in a pinned comment in the comment section. So with that out of the road, I'm going to grab my things and head on it. Yeah, uh, this is the building that the planetarium's in. There's uh, the old school. So I'm going to try and find my way in. Yeah, if you do hear your noises like that, that's coming from that thing there. But this here is the exhibition area. I've got all different planets. Yeah, it's all right. That's all right, thanks. And they've got all these different little things that people can play with. And obviously learn about people like Armstrong. And of course, they've got, got the blue marble. And it's only our touch screen. And the planetarium is through this way. Yeah, so all of this was designed with the help from the Glasgow Science Centre. So I'll try and post it in a wee card at the top of the video. If you want to have a wee look to see what I filmed there as well. So it is good to see that there is this kind of working between all these different, uh, different places in Scotland. And they're all helping each other out. And I do definitely see some of the influences from the Science Centre in the exhibition area. So, yeah, I'm just going to try and see if I can have a little look at the planetarium display as well. And see what happens. And that, that's part of the, the, the battle, isn't it? It's like having the passion. Yeah, oh yeah. If you want, yeah. Yeah. Do you, record, do you want to record? Yeah, I was, yeah. Because you do expect like the ne the next gen theme tune or like, yeah. the Voyager <laughs> theme tune to start kicking in. Yeah. 
because it's the, it's, it's trying to have like a mental image of how big these planets are where you can never quite get a grasp of it, can you? I know, but it's, it's just incomprehensible, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that, that's uh, probably the most Earth-like of the planets other than the Earth, isn't it? Mm, possibly. It's very small. It's quite cold, wispy, barren world. But yeah, I suppose so. It is... Yeah, the planetarium is definitely worth coming along and have a visit of and having a good look at because, again, I think they put on talks. They've got like, different movies talking about science and astro astro astrophysics and all that kind of stuff. And, uh, you can get to see different parts of the, the, the solar system. Definitely worth coming to see. And um, yeah, one that I would definitely recommend spending some time in. You can use this to see how the sun's path changes through the year. So it's spring, summer, autumn, which again follows the, the same path as spring, and winter. Yeah, so that's me just come back out from the planetarium. Definitely somewhere that I'd recommend coming and visiting, especially if you're down here and exploring the Southwest 300 or just exploring the Diffusing Gallery in general. Because they're saying that uh, during term time, that that's when they're open Saturday and Sunday, but uh, during the school holidays they're open seven days a week. And definitely a great place to come and learn about the cosmos and learn about space and just see the, the displays that they have and the staff are really friendly, really, really lovely. So I think they do have a website so I'll try and tag it into the video as well. So if you want to find out more you can have a real, a real look there. And the planetarium actually is only part of the building. There's like some other bits of the building that are used for other small businesses. And one of them actually is the Dark, the dark Art Distillery, which is a, a gin distillery. Unfortunately it wasn't open today. But I have been told that some of the gin is sold in uh, the wee shop that is just there, the wee blue shop. So I'm going to try and get myself a bottle of that. And I we'll will do a wee review video for that as well. So hopefully you will have enjoyed the video. Hopefully you will have found uh, the Deep Space Planetarium intriguing and interesting. And if you are in the area, definitely get yourself along to the Johnston and pay a visit to the planetarium. So hopefully you all enjoyed this and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye.